The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 31st, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four ship, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question, and, of course, it's our Tigers, then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a magnificent, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. And as we begin today's show, we can see that everything is mean and green out there. The Dow, 167 to the upside, a half a percent. The S&P, a little over 1 percent, 52 points. The Nasdaq 100, over 2 percent, 329 points. The same for the Russell, over 2 and over 2%, 43 points. The semis, 3 and 6 tenths percent, 120 points to the upside. And that's where we're going to begin our session because we've got a caller on the line. So let's go straight to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How was your weekend? Mine was great, Steve. I hope yours as well. It was. Nice weekend. A bit chilly. Great football. So no complaints there. Uh, sorry that your uh, team uh, didn't, uh, you know, win out there. But uh, the... It was a great game. You got to admit, that was a great game. Yeah, I think both of those, I didn't watch all of them, but I, I'm happy your team, you know, prevailed, and that should be a good matchup, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, I don't really have much of a – is what I do like about L.A. was, because I'm originally from Detroit, you know, it was just simply Matthew Stafford, and I always believed he was a great quarterback just with a bad team. But he stuck with them, and uh, so I was really glad to uh, – Really glad to uh, you know see him have that opportunity, and it was just that uh, L.A. I, I, they hadn't really, I didn't really think they were playing that well during the year, but the last couple of games, I mean, they really started coming together. So uh, it's going to be, hopefully, it's going to be a good Super Bowl. And how lucky for them to have it in their home court, so to speak, out there. But I know you didn't call to talk about that. You wanted to call, take a look at AMD. I believe we might have looked at this last week. I don't recall, but uh, tell me what you're doing and how I can best help you. If you don't mind, Steve, I have two that um, I'd like sure. you to look at, and they actually have kind of similar patterns. And to be honest with you, there's quite a few stocks that I follow that were putting in patterns, you know, AD equals CD, most of them. And also at the same time, uh, it was bar nine on Friday. So I went ahead and took positions, long positions in AMD, and then the other one I'll ask you about once we've looked at that, if you don't mind. No, no, no problem at all. Be happy to do that. And uh, you are right. Uh, in the case of AMD, folks, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern out there. Now, I don't have it drawn in. And today would be the confirmation of that signal. And the reason is because I wait for a bullish reversal candle. We have a gap to the upside. On my charts here, it says rising window. That's a gap to the upside. That's a bullish reversal candle. You can see, uh, as Brent has uh, appropriately stated, that uh, bar number nine completed on Friday, as did bar number nine on about uh, 630 stocks, I can't recall, out of 
about 5,000 that are scanned. So a lot of TD nine count bottoms, a lot of A to B equals CD to the downside patterns out here. So what price is going to do here or should do here, Brent, the first target is should be the oscillator and change line. And that's at 115.62. The oscillator and change line is red, so you'd really like to see price close above that level. So now 115.62. 59, 60 or so, that's going to change as price moves up and down. So you have to use that kind of as a general type area. But a close above that red oscillator and change line would then suggest a move into the 130, 133, maybe even 136 level. Brent, before I move off of the daily chart, is there anything on here that uh, you want me to discuss further? No, that looks good. I appreciate it. The, the one thing that's going to make this a little trickier, and I have to look it up, I'm not sure if it's uh, tomorrow a.m. or after the market closes, they have their earnings. So that's something okay. to be considered okay. as well. But no, that, I appreciate that. That looks good. Thank you. So the weekly's got bar number eight from last week. So bar number nine will complete this week as long as price does not close above. And that close above level is going to be 132. And you're at 112 right now. So you've got likely a weekly TD9 count pattern that's going to form. We've got the bottoms we already discussed on the daily time frame. The monthly time frame is not really providing us with a ton of information. Just as caution as long as price remains below 122.75 or so. So any questions about the weekly or monthly? monthly charts? No, I think that's it. You kind of answered what I wanted to. I'm looking, of course, more at the daily because, okay. I, you know, because of the earnings and just in general, I, yeah, I'm going to, we have to take it a step at a time. And so that's what I was looking with. You Perfect. You give me or provide me what you did. Perfect. So the second instrument that you'd like to look at is what? Um, I'm trading the LABU, but I did Eight. some research over the weekend and actually what it's tied to is the um, the symbol is uh, SPSIBI. And so it's, S -P uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, so like, you know, like the S&P 500 with another S after that, and then IBI. And then so I S have it, I've seen it two ways, where there's either a dollar symbol in front of it, yeah, or the little up arrow that would be shared with the, with the six key on the, on the keyboard. So sure. one of those two should, I think will give you the, where you can bring it up. So let me make sure I've got this right. So S P S. Go ahead. I B I. I B I. Okay. So let's see if I can pull up that index here. And uh, voila, not found. So that's a bummer. Uh, S P S I B I. Uh, so I, that should that is, the dollar sign is what should have pulled it up on my screen out here, and I don't know the reason why. But um, so this is uh, L A B U is the also represented as the triple, the yeah, it's the triple, triple of the, uh, there's different ones. There's the XBI, there's the IBB, there's, there's all these, and that's actually what these other, uh, I guess you'd call an ETF or a fund that it follows is a basket of, which includes the IBB, the XBI, and there's, I, I have them all written down. There's like, Got one, it. Okay. There's like 10 different they're all healthcare funds that are within that, you know, basket of, of, of funds within that that one I gave you. And so that's what it tracks. Sure. So as I look through um, many of the instruments that generated those TD nine count bottoms, and I've got another scanner that was looking at a number of other things, um, this sector was uh, generating all kinds of bottoming signals. So let's look at the IBB, Brent, only because that's easy for me to pick up. And then we can go back and take a look at LABU. But let's do that when we get back from this break. So please, folks, rejoin us in about three or four minutes. I'm on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. And we'll look at the IBB, which should target the 132.71 level, right now trading out at 130.95. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com. 
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're looking at IBB out here, uh, trying to come up with a one-to-one -one version of an ETF or an index uh, for to, to consider take a look at versus the LABU, which is a 3X uh, version of this uh, kind of this sector out here. So, Brent, on a daily time frame, really daily and weekly, I've drawn in the A to B equals CD patterns. On the daily, that pattern was confirmed. It was certainly confirmed on Friday with that uh, bullish reversal candle, that bull sash candle. So we've got that there. You've got a brand new bull bullish structured profile that formed today. Uh, support is at the bottom. That's at $4. I'm sorry, that is at 123.78. The center's at 126.33. We're well above that. So price should go target the top of that profile, 132.71. We don't have a confirmed buy the D point on the weekly time frame chart, but you could get that this week. We're only Monday into it. And Brent, you would ideally like to see that as a second confirmation. If price is able to close above 132.71, then where does it head to next? And that's a great question. I don't know if you were going to ask me that question, but I asked it myself. And as we take a look at the white background charts, let me see if there's anything that we can come up with. So on the daily time frame, there it is. So the answer is, Brent, if price can close above the top of its new profile, 132.71, then price should go target 144.07. That is courtesy of the TD9 count. So this formed both a buy the D point and a TD9 count because it was bar number eight that formed the low, uh, a low that held out here. So even though Friday price pierced below that, it doesn't matter. Once you form the TD9 count, as long as price is not closed below the low of that session, that session will be the lows of bar eight, nine, of the bar following nine. In this case here, it was bar number eight out there. It's still a valid pattern. So uh, are you primarily focused here on the daily chart as well? I am, yeah, because I had on the that when I was tracking it had a, it was the bar nine on the daily as well and also the you know the A B equals C D pattern. There's just a lot of those on Friday, so that's that's oh, yeah. Just, used yeah. Just just a ton, a ton. I mean, uh, uh, so so much so that when I finally got to that stage of trying to review the TD nine counts, there were six hundred and thirty, I was like, Oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this? But 
on LABU, slightly different than the IBB, you are exactly right in that Friday was bar number nine for it. And that's what we've got up on our screen here. Now, in the case of the LABU, it is traded with inside its bearish structure daily profile. So your battleground in LABU, I'm going to put the uh, black background charts up on the screen. It's a little bit easier, I think, for everybody to see. So give me a moment just to do that, LABU. And here, well, what you'll see is, so this is a bearish structure profile. Folks, what we know about that is that sellers, we know where sellers reside, 2066. Like any defense, we don't know if they're going to be able to hold or not, but they're sitting right there. They're actually sitting in between the range of 1954 and 2066, and that is where the center of the profile is. And the center of the profile here at that 1954 level is much closer in proximity to the top of the profile area versus the bottom. At the center of a profile, you have both buyers and sellers. So we'll just call it 50-50, buyers and sellers. Believe that that is fair value with inside this range. So since you've got 50% of the sellers there and 100% of sellers at 2066, this is the sell zone that it's moving into. Now, if price can close above the top of bearish structured profile, I like to say there's nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern. And in essence, that's what you would have here, especially with two consecutive closes above that level. Then that would then say, okay, we're headed higher. And in the LABU, that was that. That, uh, TD9 count breakdown resistance. So I'm going to pull the white background chart to our screen here. And that's at the 2401 level. Brent, what additional information on the daily chart for LAB or any other time frame can I provide to you? I think that's it. I just, I went and I looked at the XBI, I looked at the IVB. The XBI to me was, I think they all are kind of trading together. But my one problem with that is that I was just looking at the top holdings. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stock I'd never even heard of. They're kind of, I don't know, just at least in the IBB. Yes. Some big, you know, biotech names in there you would recognize. I didn't see that with, with the XBI. And then I like this one here because it does follow that. It's, it's called the S&P uh, Select Industry um, Biotechnology Index or whatever. That's a big old name, but whatever. When I went right. into that, there was a lot of different, like I said, had the IVB, had all those in there. So it, I just thought it was a little more diversified. Just, you weren't relying on some stocks that could potentially work against you. So that's why I went with this one. Yes. Well, you know, it is, uh, it's always a great exercise to take a look at the ETF and then go back and see what the stocks are that make that up, right? And, and look at the weightings inside there. Uh, to me, I find that just extraordinarily helpful. Um, so, so I'm glad that you did that. Uh, you've got everything that you need here from a bottom standpoint. So now in the case of LABU, it's a matter of what's it going to do as it deals with those resistance zones, which is quickly approaching out there. So you've got some battles ahead of you, and a close above 2401 would say that uh, you might also have a change in trend with the next move up to about 39.50. So, uh, Brent, uh, great to hear from you. Thanks so much for the call. And is there anything else that I can do for you? No, I just... As always, Steve, you just you know, really handle things in a very professional manner, and I just I always appreciate your help. It's well, just, thanks. Uh, uh, thank, thanks for those yeah. comments. I appreciate it. Always good to hear from you and everybody in the den, and I'm sure everybody else listening in uh, through whatever the means is always good to. Uh, always glad to hear from uh, Brent and see what uh, see what they're doing. So you might have a few folks that uh, hop on your LABU trade out there. So uh, we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. All right, Steve. You just have a wonderful day, and enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll I'm sure I'll plan on talking to you soon. Sounds great. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We do have a few questions that have come in. So before I get uh, behind on things, let's get to a couple of those. First one coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector and Patty want to take a look at the XLF out here. So let's go see what it is doing. Let me get that fired up on my other screens as well. And right now you've got the XLF. It is uh, trading with inside its uh, slightly bearish structure daily profile. So what I can share with you, Hector and Patty, is your next battleground or resistance level is 3926. Regardless of whether we find a bottom or not, you've got a battle at 39.26. And if price can clear that, well, then you might be back off to the races to at least head back to that gap to the downside. That would be your January 14th target of about $40.87. Let me pull over the white background chart, see if there's any information here to assist us. And on the daily time frame, 
don't really have a bottoming signal other than prices pulling back, testing prior swing points. Didn't completely test that swing point from September 20th. Uh, you do have an oscillator and change line that changed colors about four or five days ago. So Hector and Patty, you really want to see price close above that, which is 39.13. But at 39.26, you have the top of that profile. So that's really the level you're looking for price to close above. That's the daily chart signal. The weekly chart out here, we've got price above the top of its uh, daily profile. So this suggests a run to 40.24. The monthly time frame, uh, even though it has a confirmed roads momentum indicator signal, price has held the oscillator and change line. That's at 37.89. So it's on a monthly basis signal is neutral. Weekly signal, I would say, is bullish. The daily time frame is uh, uncertain out here because you just have price consolidated with inside that profile. But it closed about 39.26. Hector and Patty, that'll change things on the daily time frame and suggest they move up to those highs out there. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. Nicholas A. writes in and uh, wants to take a look at the uh, SOX charts out there. So why don't we take a look at the SMHs uh, just simply because it's an ETF. Everybody else can follow it and uh, we'll get some information from that. So let's uh, take our three panel chart let's put in the smh etf out here and uh, what we'll do is i see we're going to a break so let's uh just hold off we come back from this break out here this will give me a minute just to take a further look at the smhs they're trading out right now at 278.82 uh if you can close above 272.29 that's the center now it's bullish structure profile you should see a run to 287.33 we'll be right back fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the SMHs. We've got the daily time frame chart up on our screen here. You can see a nice TD nine count bottom that had formed on Friday. Price is trading with inside that daily profile. So it's real battleground. You've got 272.29. That's the center. But you can see it's that red oscillator and change line. It's going to be really key for you, Nick. And that's at the 274 and change level. Currently 274.60. It'll be a little bit higher if the market continues to rally. And if price can close above that, then you should see 287.33. And above 287.33, 301.80 would be the price target. So that's the uh, patterns on the daily. The weekly time frame chart here for the SMH is uh, no such luck. Now, what we can say about the, I take that back, what I can say about the SMH is they completed a pattern. So they had both a TD9 count pattern as well as a consolidation measured move breakout. The consolidation was this little rectangular area. I don't have it drawn in here, but you can kind of visually see that. You just take that consolidation level and uh, put it to the downside and that gives you your measured move. So you got two different patterns that I completed out here, which is helpful from the weekly standpoint because I don't really have a completed pattern on the weekly basis, but that consolidation measured move out there would qualify for that. Um, so this says you could see a price move up to 298. The daily is going to be the one that you're going to really want to track out there. And on a monthly basis, you know, price has held the top of that profile, which is good, 264.58, still below that oscillator and change line. So it's still uncertain as to what its real intent is out here but you should see a further rally 272.29 is your next battle 274.52 above that the 287.33 is that final uh level where the safeties reside on smh is out there let's go to our next question this one coming in from uh, keith i believe keith keith in ventura california out there i wondered if you would look at gbtc got into 25 looking for a gap fill just under 29 and if we get a stronger rally in the market, the gap around 39. Okay, so let's put up GBTC. And uh, Keith, there's a gapper out there. No, whoops, I got to actually type in the uh, proper uh, ticker signal out there. So gaps are cool. Gaps are our friends, both gaps the upside, gaps the downside out there. The thing is, though, sometimes with regard to gaps out here is we need to understand if there's an underlying instrument. So in the case of the grayscale ETF, which I imagine takes I, I imagine it takes its uh, signals from the uh, a Bitcoin futures contract out there. Um, you probably we probably don't see those gaps inside of that. So that's that's the first bit of caution that I would throw out to you is yes you see them here, but isn't really the price of GBTC based upon what's going on inside of Bitcoin. So for example, if we go to a Bitcoin, we'll come back to GBTC. But let's just go to the Bitcoin futures. Stevie should be able to find that here momentarily. To give me just an Another moment or two. It should be coming up quickly, I hope. Where is it? There we go. Bitcoin. So here's the financial futures for Bitcoin. Uh, they are we're in the uh, G contract. So that's going to be this right here. So as I take, I'm going to just simply expand out this uh, chart for us. And as we take a look at this, uh, Keith, we don't really have that uh, gap per se. There is a slight gap, maybe. Let me see. That low was 41,285. The high was 41,175. So there's a little. So the gap that I would suggest that you would be looking at is really from the high, from a Bitcoin standpoint, is really from the high of the trading day of, uh, what is that, uh, January 21st. And that high out there for Bitcoin futures, that is, the Bitcoin Q futures contract, is up at the 41,175 level. Now, what we can see here, regardless of whether there's a bottom or not in this uh, uh, um, instrument, price is trying to take on resistance. That's the top of its daily profile. Now, we can see that on the way down here with regard to the uh, contract that we're looking at, we haven't seen, oh, we saw one close above the top of a daily profile. That was on the trading day of December 27th. Price got right back into it again. So right now you've got one day, it appears to be over that. So the level you're watching here is 38,242. You're at 38,470 right now. So that's the first thing, Keith, you're long. You'd like to see Bitcoin close above this level. Again, that level is 38,242. If you get two consecutive closes above that, then that would suggest to you and I that price is going to go target that gap out there. Again, that's the high from the uh, January 21st level. So now let's come all the way back to GBTC. Now that we've got that all squared away for us, we know what's going on. In the case of GBTC, it's really hard for me to tell you where that equivalent move is in Bitcoin and correlate that to GBT to, to the GBTC level area out here. So how can I provide more information? How can I do that? Let me come back and look at the white background charts out here. And so on the white background charts, what we can see is at least that price is above its oscillator and change line. So I would say 
the target would be around 2846 to 2968. To the upside, you're looking for the 20, uh, 39 levels out there. Well, actually, you're first looking for 29. Um, so it seems to, uh, you know, I, I, that's going to be so in the case of the Bitcoin trust, 2968 is a TD9 count breakdown level. But still, I come back to the fact that, Keith, your real focus with regard to what's going on inside this instrument is to actually follow the futures contracts for Bitcoin out there, and that will help you. So, again, don't get too caught up into the gaps in GBTC out there. Just like don't get too caught up into the gaps of the S&P or the spies. Go see if those same gaps reside inside the futures contract. Chances are most times they don't because those instruments are just trying to catch up to what uh, took place beyond its six-and-a-half-hour window out there. So, Keith, okay, thanks so much for writing in, and have a uh, terrific day. The next question, come in from Eddie in uh, Boca Raton and Eddie wants to take a look at one of his favorite stocks and that is NVIDIA NBDA. So let's go take a look at NVIDIA. Let's try to figure out what kind of bottoming signal, if anything, NVIDIA gave us. And right now you got NVIDIA trading above the center of its bullish structured profile. So whether I can find a bottom out here or not, and today certainly is going to be one confirmation of that by the D point because there's a gap to the upside. And because, Eddie, price is above the center of that bullish structured profile, you should see NVIDIA make a move to the 259.35 level out there. Now, that's coming from the daily time frame. Let's pull over that white background chart, see what other information we've got out here. Now, we could also see that the oscillator and change line which is at 236.77. A close above that, Eddie, is going to be another positive for you. We can see a TD9 count bottom. It was bar number eight that generated the bottom at a breakout level at the 211.22 mark. So this is really suggesting to you and I, Eddie, that you should see 259.35. If price is able to close above that, then you're looking at the 285.95 level. And that's coming from your daily time frame. On a weekly basis, what do we have out here for NVIDIA as we populate it? You've got a TD9 count bottom that is forming here as as well and a uh, price would have to just simply by the end of the week close below 272.47. If it does that, the weekly is going to give you a TD9 count bottom as well. The monthly chart price is pulled back and it's tested. It's got a TD9 count top, but price is test back and it has held that oscillator and change line. And that, in essence, is what you'd be looking for out there. Now, you, you'd ideally, this month ends today, you'd ideally like to see a close of 241.50 or so. Then you'd have that support level holding, a weekly TD9 count, a daily TD9 count out there. But, uh, Eddie, you should get a price move up to that 259. 35 level. I hope that helps you out. Now, it just so happens, Eddie, that your second instrument, which you want to take a look at, is the same thing that Fancy Nancy wants to look at as well. So let's go to Nancy's question, which is if you could review Apple and give the ranges, you would appreciate it. So let's go do this. This is a combo out here. This is for Nancy and Eddie. So let's get to the Apple symbol. That's AAPL out here. Let's go see what it's doing. It is moving higher. And right now, both of you like this. I believe you guys are both long this. Apple right now is trading above the top of that daily profile. So if it can hold the 171.87 level, meaning close above it, that's a positive. That would suggest that Apple we we'll try to make a move up to the 178.66 level. That's the top of that weekly profile. When we come back from this break, we'll go to my white background chart, see if there's any other information that Nancy and Eddie in Boca Raton, Nancy, I believe, is in uh, Washington State, and Eddie is in Boca Raton. We got, the, we got the corners of the world covered here on the Trader's Edge Show. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. So, Nancy, the uh, prof from a profile standpoint, which you're, you're interested in, in, you've got the daily at 171.87. Price is trading above that. If price closes above that, then the next profile resistance level will be 178.66 out there. Now, Apple confirmed a buy the D point. It did that last Monday when it generated that bullish hammer candle, as did many instruments out there. Let's pull over the white background charts, see if there's anything else that we can uh, provide to Nancy. And what we can provide is really coming from the weekly time frame chart. So, price, why is price stopping? where it is right now. The best answer is because, is because price, which has a confirmed TD9 count, Rosemont to indicator top out here, is because price has run right into that green oscillator and change line. That green oscillator and change line, pretty at 173.69, we're at 173.48. So 173.69 is level you'd like to see price close above. If you can get above or close above a green oscillator and change line, of course, this is a weekly chart. Week's not over. Which week is just beginning. But if you can at least get above that, that would then suggest that move to 178.67. So, Nancy and Eddie, I hope that helps you out with regard to Apple. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Let's go to our next caller. It is John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? How was your weekend? That was very good, uh, Steve. Uh, you must be in a uh, state of flux. Given yes. that you now are uh, doing your show at 1 o'clock instead of 8 a.m. I, I did it at 8 a.m., but nobody listened to me. I, I just did it for myself. Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. good. Say, um, I, I, uh, before I ask you about copper, which yes. is why I called, yes. I, I do have to say, my goodness, your, uh, the, the annual seasonal pattern in the U.S. stock market Yes. A top near the start of the year, a tradable low near the end of January. That combined with the observation I just heard you speak of right before you spoke to Brent, namely your scan of 5,000 stocks show daily charts, 600 of them, did you say, having yeah. made TD9 counts? Yes, on a daily time just, frame. Just wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, when, when I finally got that... Uh, and started looking through, sifting through that data last night, I was like, wow, I should have yeah. just started with that come Saturday morning. But uh, yeah. in any event, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, just a uh, extraordinary large number of, uh, of instruments uh, that are out there. So large that there's no way for me to actually provide <laughs> the full list to uh, uh, subscribers out there. But I know you wanted to call about the doctor, Dr. Copper, which is trading right now at 432 and below the bottom of its uh, daily profile that it closed below on Friday. Uh, what can I help you with here, John? Very specific. 
specific question. Steve, uh, first I posit the following. Uh, copper topped uh, back at uh, 488 nine months ago, early May last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I speculate that the correction that it has been in since, which is now almost nine months, mm -hmm. is about to bottom uh, sometime in the next uh, one to 30 days and then undergo a rush, uh, a rally rush over 490. And quite how high I... Uh, I uh, don't have anything to uh, uh, to nail down in my own mind, uh, but if that is correct, and only of course time will tell. My question to you is: Is there anything? Excuse me. Are there any indicators, data, or signals uh, coming from your work that suggest? Uh, some particular price, uh, you know, lower. We're 432 right now. Any particular price lower than here that's likely to be the end of a pullback? That's my question. Okay, excellent. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, because we're just focusing right now at least on the daily time frame, and this is the March contract that we're looking at. And so to answer John's specific signal, so for example, uh, he had picked out a uh, top back into May out here. There was another top that formed this past October. And when that top formed, it was a TD9 count. And so we're looking for a pattern. So we're looking for an A to B equals C to downside, the TD9 count, Rose momentum indicator signal. And all we have right now, John, is bar number four of a potential TD9 count. That means we basically need the rest of this week and an early part of next week is where we could see a bottom. One of the possible areas with price below the bottom of its daily profile, if we get a second close stay below that level, that says we should be looking at about the 409 level, formula 409. That is the TD9 count breakout level that takes us all the way back in that October uh, high out there. And that sets up where that breakout area is. So that would be one thing when I just look at this chart. When I then go to take a look at uh, this multi time frame chart that I've got out here, and this is daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly, what I see is price trading in between trend line resistance and trend line support. So that trend line support gets us back towards that 409-ish uh, type area. It won't get us all the way down there. It's probably about 418 or so. So that's what these charts uh, tell us. And then I could do one more thing here. If you give me just a moment, we can go take a look at our multi time frame charts out here. Because even though sometimes we don't see bottoms on those daily time frames, and if that's the case, we would at least want to see a bottom and see some kind of bottoming signals on the multiple time frames or the intraday time frames is really what I'm saying. So here is the uh, March contract for a high-grade copper. And if I just simply start from the bottom right, John, and I start reading the charts and looking for signals, you do have a TD9 count bottom on the five-hour time frame chart. And that low is being tested as we speak out here. So that's the potential of a bottom signal. Do I have something on the 240? I don't have a bottom pattern. I don't have one on the 120. I don't want to have on the 60. I don't want to I do not have one on the 30-minute time frame chart. Now, the 30-minute time frame chart says that if price were to close above 434, two consecutive closes above that, that's a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. Then that would suggest a further rally. And the further rally would be the next breakdown area, and that's at about the $4.37 area. So I've got the multi time frame charts up here. Uh, everything still points. The only thing I would say there's the potential of a bottom here is on that uh, five hour time frame chart, which I know you like as well. And, um, and here I would say price would need to close above $4.37 to signal a uh, bottom. But I don't have anything more than that on the intraday time frame charts, but maybe you have some questions about these charts that you also are looking at that I can assist with. I find it interesting. Well, I am intrigued, and uh, my, uh, excuse me, my radar just perked up when you mentioned the five-hour chart. I, I merely ask you to kindly blow that up so we can take a full look at that. There you go. And uh, once you do that, I, uh, I will say thank you very much, very thorough. You've answered my questions. That's what, that's what we like to hear. Now, on this chart here, so the other folks can see, and what you like to see is you like to see a pattern that forms out here where the market or the instrument itself has, uh, has, has recognized that. So the last high out here, or a high out here on the five-hour time frame chart, let me get my crosshair going. This was uh, bar number eight that formed at about 1,400 hours, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on January 12th. That identified a top price pulled back to the breakout level. 
rejects that area in essence, moves back up, creates another TD9 count, pulls back to its breakout level, then just bounces. Now you've got the A to B equals CD to the downside on the five hour time frame chart. So you've got an A to B equals CD to the downside that's completed. You have a TD9 count. And now you'd like to see price close above the top of that profile, 437, to suggest that this is the chart and time frame that you should be focused on. So John, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the call. Always good to speak to you and uh, have a wonderful week. Terrific, Steve. Thanks so much. You bet. That was John in Philly. We get back. I'll just check uh, during the uh, break here, see if there's any other questions that have come in. If not, we'll just uh, spend some time uh, taking a look at, uh, well, whatever it is that I can find. Oh, we've got a caller on the line. We've got Ron in Denver. We're going to go to Ron in Denver as soon as we get back from this break. Thank you. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's go straight out to Denver and uh, and speak with Ron. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Thank you, Steve. And uh, thank you for the ideas on QQQ last week. I went along with the calls and sold the puts, and that worked out real well, and, and uh, also Zoom. But today I got in bed with Kathy Woods on her okay. ARK, A -R -K -K. Okay. Yeah. and I just wondered... With fund buying coming in, or fund buying usually comes in the first of the month, do you see the strength carrying through the rest of the week? 
Well, um, good question. Here's what I can share with you. Uh, we do on a daily basis. We'll just focus on the daily time frame for right now. You do have a nice bottom. It's a TD9 count bottom. I'm sure there's also an A to B equals CD. So you've at least got one, probably two bottoms out here. And what formed a couple of days ago was a bullish structured profile. And right now, Ron, price is above the center of that level, which is 71.50. And if price closes above 71.50, odds favor, this should make a move to 81.29. That's the top of the profile. Now, I do not know what's going to happen as price gets there. But that's where the sellers are sitting. What I can share with you is that if price were to get above that level, then the next round of sellers would be sitting at 89.34. So I would say that this week, assuming that the rally continues, you know, it really matters what it looks like at the end of the day. As long as price is above 71.50, likely this should go target 81.29 to 89.34. Does that information help you? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. I appreciate sure. that. And I appreciate uh, sure. your other comments. Sure. You're fantastic. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you. So uh, uh, thanks so much for calling, and uh, have a uh, have a marvelous uh, Monday. What's the weather like out there? You got some snow? Oh, yeah, we get snow two days ago. We're going to get snow tomorrow a lot. Then Perfect. Two days it'll be gone. That's what's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. So well, two it, days later it's gone. Comes well, in we again, got, then it's gone. So, sure, sure. You know, well, you we got down... We got down to 36 here. We got down to 36 here Saturday night. Uh, so I was out looking for flurries, you know, which I didn't want to really see. But uh, we're out of time here. Hey, Ron, always good to speak to you. Thanks much for the call. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Hey, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next after that. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday, and we'll see you at uh, 1 p.m. Take care, folks.